1924, Mr. Duke, uh, the language that he used to describe child care was more around uh, helping orphans and half orphan. An orphan being a child with no living parents and half orphan being a child with only one living parent. In children's, in orphanages back in the 20s, 95% of the children who were in care back then were either an orphan or a half orphan. They were there because one or both of their parents were deceased. We think that Mr. Duke was interested in orphans and half orphans because he was a half orphan himself. His mother died when he was, I think, five or six years of age. And then his father went off to fight in the Civil War as well. So he was essentially raised by his, some of his relatives. And their support for orphanages long preceded uh, the establishment of the endowment. As early as 1880s, 1890s, uh, Mr. Duke and his brother Ben had already started to give money to orphanages uh, in North Carolina. In the early years of the endowment, most of the money was distributed to, orphan to orphanages based on the number of orphans and half orphans uh, that they serve. So each year, the orphanages across North Carolina and South Carolina would send a list of the orphans and half orphans that were served by their agencies. And the endowment staff would then take the amount allocated for child care and divide it up to be distributed among those orphanages, again, based on the number of orphans and half orphans that they served. Today, and beginning as early as 1980s and 1970s, only 5% of children who are in orphanages, or what we call children's homes today, are there because one or both of their parents have died. Most are there because they come from dysfunctional families and have typically been either abused or neglected. Recognizing that, our board wanted to put more money upstream toward prevention and early intervention programs so that we could stem the flow of children who were coming into orphanages. Prior to 1998, most of our money had gone to the deep end of the child welfare system, to adoption placement agencies and to uh, children's homes. Beginning in 1998, we began to look upstream and we began to bring in other beneficiary groups including Prevent Child Abuse North Carolina and Prevent Child Abuse South Carolina and some of their local affiliates, Big Brothers Big Sisters mentoring programs. We've also added to our list uh, child advocacy centers. We require that they be accredited to be eligible. And we've also, hearkening back to some of Mr. Duke's language where he said he wanted to help agencies, whether public or private, we've also opened the door since 98, 1998 to the public sector. Now, when working with the public sector, we look for opportunities where there's system, an opportunity for system reform. Most historians view Mr. Duke as an innovative leader in the industries that he created for the Carolinas. Building upon that in childcare, we see that one of our primary objectives is to interpret the language that he used back in 1924 and to fulfill the wishes that he clearly stated in a way that's relevant today. And we believe that Mr. Duke would be pleased with those adjustments that we've made so that we are relevant uh, in today's world.